Hey y'all, I'm here to share with you my purchases from Tuesday morning for July. I'm still in the process of moving my scrap room. Uh, I am recording in my uh, new room, but I still have a lot of things that need to be moved and organized. I'm kind of like bringing things in and as I bring them in, I'm putting them where they belong and kind of organizing them instead of bringing everything up here and having a mess so it's slow going but i do have everything upstairs but the bed and the spare bedroom is covered in stuff and so now i look at what i purchased and i'm like going oh my gosh i didn't really need all this but y'all know how it is <laughs> so uh i really need to rethink my scrapbooking purchases and kind of pare down what I buy unless I'm scrapbooking a lot more than I have been and hopefully I will once I get my room all situated but anyway here's what I got and I had a couple of surprises that I was very tickled about but um I picked up these Tim Holtz journaling cards I've seen them there the past couple of times I was there and I kept looking at them and I just finally bit the bullet and bought them because look at the different sizes that they are in. So, let me get these out of the box so I can show you. But yeah, they're different sizes, so I thought that was kind of cool. And I wanted, you know, make a few junk journals and things, so I thought that would be good for that. They were um, $3.99. And I also picked up these little photo booth vintage photos. They were $1.99. Also by Tim Holtz. I picked up this ephemera pack 50 piece from Maggie Holmes from Carousel Line. And then puffy stickers, 20 of them. I'm um, assuming, of course, that's from Ch her Chasing Dreams line. They were $1.49. And then I got this sticker pack. 68 stickers. I'm going to also assume that is from Carousel. Because of the little animals. It was $1.99. And then I got really tickled because I had one canoe too. This is one of my favorite lines along with Simple Stories. And this is um, the 6x6 paper pad of Goldenrod. They did not have it in the full size or else I would have gotten it in the full size. And look at what I found. Wolf Pack, $2.99. This was one of the lines I was going to purchase when it was released and I just never ordered it. And then when I seen it, the Tuesday morning, they only had it in the 6x6 pad. But I'm going to the Stamping and Scrapbook Expo this month in Duluth, Georgia. So... Hopefully, I'll be able to pick up some embellishments to go with that. If not, um, if you have a paper pack and you don't really have embellishments that would go with it, if you do look at the Scrapbook Generation sketches, you'll see that you really don't need a lot of embellishing embellishments because they show you how to make your own embellishments from the paper. Um, got the 6x8 paper pack. Turn the page. It's $2.99. Then I picked up two sets of these stickers because they were in black and they were skinny letters. And these are called Vicky and they got like a little script writing on them. Because I had a skinny set of foam thickers that I wish I had a ton of because I absolutely loved them and these kind of reminded me of them. They were $2.19. And then here is Maggie Holmes 
Wheel of Lane, a chipboard sheet. This one has 44 pieces and it was $3.29. And then here they had Shamil's Head in the Clouds. This was 37 pieces and it was only $2.99. It was a little bit cheaper and I'm guessing it was because maybe it has less pieces. I don't know. I don't know what it cost. Oh, I can look. $6.49 normally. Oh, yeah. They were both $6.49 normally. So I don't know what the price, why that's, I thought maybe it was a price difference because there was less chipboard, but that's not it. And then I picked up, because being from the South, I picked up this uh, Die Cuts with a View Southern Belt. And the colors in it are so bright and pretty. And I'm going to flip through it real quick. The funny thing is, is when I seen this, bless your heart, whoever designed this paper pack is not from the South because they would know that that is not a compliment in the South when you say, oh, bless your heart or bless his heart. It's not really a compliment. <laughs> so, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, these are double-sided. And there is a uh, polka dot. And on the back side we have a bunch of southern words. Buttercup, good gravy, sweet tea, howdy, heavens to Betsy, goodness gracious, be, be seeing ya. Uh, molasses, comfort, slow as molasses, comfort, lickety split. All kind of cute things. And... Look at this cute page of peaches. And on the back side, there's a little floral. And here's some houses. And on the back side are some more peaches in a smaller scale. And look at that pretty pink. And then we have a navy with a little floral. Looks like a little tulip and it's got a little dot of circles around it. There's some roses with some foil dots. And on the back side is another navy with some little fireflies. And let me tell you, they are out in full force where I live. And here's just a little cute page of different types of drinks. And then another floral in pinks. Then we have a gold sheet. And there's probably a little glare on that from my light. And on the back side is this pretty mint and uh, green. It looks like little berries. And then we have a navy. It's little pies with steam coming off of it. And then here's a cut apart. We have some journaling spots. Fixing too. I say that quite a bit. And then we have another floral with a gold diagonal stripe in the background. Not real crazy about that, but those would be really pretty to cut out. And look at that bright green summery polka dot. And then here is another floral. Uh, kind of like a peach background. And then here's a nice bright yellow. And that is a smudge or something on there. Because it is not on that sheet. Then here's just some little rain uh, hats and hats and umbrellas. Well, no, not rain hats, but straw hats and fans. And I guess those are kind of like sun umbrellas. 
And then there's a pink bow. Then another bright yellow with white flower. And then here's a, a mint green with a little tiny floral on it. These make great background pages. This page I'm definitely not crazy about. It's like a, a picnic tablecloth with a bunch of pies on it. Maybe you could cut some of those pies out, but that's just way too busy for me. And then here's a nice navy, and it's got a tiny diagonal stripe in it with just a little bit uh, lighter shade of navy. And then here's another floral. And here's those same berries that were on the other page, but just in a different color scheme. And then that floral. And then here we got a nice black and white. Another one of those bright greens. And then a sheet of strips that you can cut out. Like those little banner banner flags. And look at this beautiful lemon paper. It is bright yellow and green and it's got little gold dots in it. And that says summer. That definitely says summer. And then there's a mint green polka dot on the back. And that is it for that paper pad. And then I picked up uh, this Maggie Holmes bloom. I've never gotten it and I thought I could use that in some uh, little journals I want to make. And then the other thing I was excited about was Saturday afternoon, one canoe two. This was another line that I was looking at that I almost bought. And then I thought, well, I'll wait and see if they have it at the expo. And they had it at Tuesday morning. And I'm not going to flip through that one. There's the, uh, give you an idea of the color palette. It's $6.99. And then I got this Vicky Booten mixed media. I'll kind of flip through it. Her paper pads aren't as big. Let's see, it says 24 sheets. These aren't as thick as the other ones. But we'll flip through it. I don't know if this is from a particular collection. this cut apart. I have her other paper pad and I have a lot of her die cut so I picked this up because it would go along with her uh, color palette. And that's kind of cool. And then I'll oh, now we're on repeat so I'll show you the back sides. So these are my purchases that I bought at Tuesday morning. Go check yours out if you have one near you because they have a lot of goodies there. You know, sometimes it's, you either find a lot of stuff and then other times you just don't see anything. And this time they had a lot of good stuff there. See you next time. Bye.